Oh my, you've heard me talk about it on social media. I am so excited because this is the way to start the season. Guess who I have on the couch? Marissa Jarrett, what up there? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Welcome, welcome to Go Curvy. Thank you. I love it here. We I are love it. so happy to have you here today. Oh my God. And you've been so busy. I must admit, I've been watching some of the interviews that you've been doing. <laughs> you are one busy I lady. I know, I know. It's good though. I like being busy. I'll, I'll say like, you know, my friends are like, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, I'm not having coffee with you today. That's what I'm not doing. I can tell you what I'm not doing today. Yeah. That's yeah. wonderful. You know, sweetie, I have to go back to one interview that you just did maybe about a month ago. And I think for our viewers, we did um, a show on this. And you did an interview and you said that, you know, you thought life would start when you lost the weight. Yeah. And that life would be better. Um, and it, it did. didn't really turn out it to did, be that way. It did not way turn out you. that way. It was a disaster. I did. I... You know, I, I'm 41 years old, 42 now, and, you know, I think, like, I went through my whole life of, like, well, I'm happy with who I am, I like the way I look, everything, but, you know, oh, but if I were skinnier, I would be driving a convertible and wearing a bikini wherever I go, and everything, my work would be better, and my life would be better, and my sex life would be better, and then I did it, I went on this crazy diet, I lost 60 pounds, wow. I was like, oh my god, I've never looked better. And genuinely, I was like, it still wasn't enough. I was still buying dresses that I'm like, oof, I lose mm -hmm. five more pounds. This dress will look better. Yeah. And it just, I never felt, I never, as I said, like, I never felt like there was, like, no water at the end of that rainbow. Like, yeah. I just was like, oh, nothing changed. I still feel not good enough. I still, my work is the same. My sex life is the same. Like, nothing really changed. So, and I think yeah. um, uh, we <laughs> talked about this, but it, we talked about this on the show is that you have to live for today because yeah. you cannot wait to lose that 10, 20, 30, whatever you pounds, can. you have to start today. Yeah. And it's an interesting thing though, because you know, everyone wants to lose five pounds and I don't, mm -hmm. I don't shun anyone. I don't go, Oh, don't try to lose five pounds. Like if you want right. to lose five pounds, lose five pounds. But it's like, you have to figure out how like. Buy clothes that fit now. Don't wait. Yes. Like, and then, you know, when you lose weight, go buy new clothes. Like, I always did the, like, I bought the one dress that was never going to fit. And so I was always down or depressed about that dress that didn't fit. So my advice is, if you want to lose 10 pounds, lose 10 pounds. But don't fixate on that because you're only letting yourself down every day. Yes. And the truth is, you're... You just gotta fit. You just have to live in your own skin. You <laughs> like you just do. It's too short. It's too hard. The saying from a movie I did, Muffin Top. Yes. Oh my gosh. Is <laughs> love yourself now, not five pounds from now. And that's the yes. most important thing. And you can love yourself again five pounds from now, but like just love yourself today. Like Absolutely. feel good today. Absolutely. And talking about Muffin Top, I love that movie. So oh. sweet. So so sweet. You can get it on demand, everybody. But yes. It's. It the message, really, the, the message, message is just, yeah, it really, it touched a, a nerve with me is why I wanted to be a part of the movie. Yeah. And, um, and it was going through that movie, like doing press for that movie where I was like, oh wait, I kind of not living, really living what I'm feeling. Yes. And that's true. Like it's, it, it's definitely like a Bridget Jonesy, like feel good with who you are. Don't yep. change yourself for a man. Like he's not going to love you more. Like right. he's not like. Just being skinny is not going to make, like, you need to find a man that loves you where you are, wherever right now, you are. It doesn't matter. Absolutely. Yeah. I, uh, absolutely. The message was so wonderful. That Thank movie. You. And you were so good. I, I, you I were was, so good. <laughs> I was super silly. I was like, I am super, I was like, oh my gosh, like, I want to be her friend. She's so adorable. And I'm like, it's me, you know, but. Yeah. I felt that too. It's like, when I watched Muffin Top and then everyone said, she's coming to go curvy. I'm like, yeah, well, yay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. When I was doing like um like ADR for it, when you know you have to dub in words, I was like, oh my god, she's so adorable, and I'm like, wait, that's me. Like I'm so adorable. Like, but it doesn't feel like me at all. No, but no. But that character was so. I think she was you know a lot like Tracy Turblad in the sense that she was just yes. like loving life and so joyful. So yeah, that's wonderful. So everyone, make sure you go rent the movie. Yeah. It's on demand. Easy, it easy. is a much wa must watch. Like yeah. so funny, so yeah. funny. All right, my love. Let's talk about sex, baby. No. Oh. <laughs> All about sex on TLC, your new show. 
It's fun. Wow. It's so not how I would have pictured my career to go, but it's so much fun. It's so much fun. You know, we're just sitting around literally talking about sex. Yes. Which is interesting. It's sort of like the new love lines of for this generation. You know, we get calls in and you can send us tweets and Facebook us and tweet us and go to our Facebook page and ask questions. So interactive. I yeah. love it. People can like really interact with yeah. you and the ladies. I you had me laughing because I saw your tweet that you were watching it with your mom. It was a, it's a disaster. Like both night, two times, two Saturdays now I've been with my mother. And I'm like, she's 80 years old. And my mom never even talked to me about sex. My mom, when I did a show called Dance Your Ass Off, she wouldn't tell my friends that her friends that I was on it because I said the word ass. Like it's so crazy, you know. Um, and so both nights. And then this last week I was watching it and my seven-year-old niece had just landed from Italy. I've only seen her like twice. Wow. And she came in right at the second the show started. So we were watching it on mute. And then she could read the word sex. She's like, I know all about sex. I know all about puberty. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, don't talk to my son about any of this. Yeah, it's been a, it's been oh, quite a ride. That is wonderful. And I know it's on Saturday nights on yes. TLC yes. at 11 o'clock. Yes. Woo, you got to check it out. Yes, it's it's really so, fun. but it's a group of ladies talking about sex. Yes. And you can actually um, tweet in yes. on social media and ask them questions. I love how interactive it, it is. Yeah, it's very you ladies are funny. And, and, and <laughs> Heather McDonald and Margaret yes. Cho are on it. And we have a doctor, Dr. Tip. So we're really, we have, an, we have good answers. Good answer. Sometimes we go off on our tangents about like how I lost my virginity and then you poor girls on the phone listening. But yes, we do have good answers. It's awesome. It is so wonderful. Well, I know you're a busy lady and I'm not going to yeah. keep you long, but I got to ask you one more question. Okay. What else is for 2015? Oh my God, 2015. Well, here's the great news. Um, totally going on the ride of feeling good and changing how you see yourself. I'm writing a book, so I'm on that right now. Um, and that's really been like my passion. I started writing this year and it's been a big passion of mine. So that's going to be amazing. So I'll come back and talk to you about Please. that when yes, that book is yes, published. Cause yes. it's, it's definitely about feeling good in your body. Don't change. Wonderful. Like we positive role models and oh. the book you will want to read and share and funny stories. You know, yeah. it all started. I wrote a thing called, um, it was being a plus size role model and how that happened in my life, becoming a plus size role model. Yes. And at first I fought it, but then I'm like, wait a second, I'm super proud and that's yes, awesome. And absolutely. Then, yeah, and it was, it, Exo Jane published it and then Time published it and then it, now it's branched off to be a book, so. That is yeah. absolutely wonderful. And just think of all the young ladies out there you're inspiring. Yeah. That your self-worth does not depend on your waistline. It, Thank you, beautiful, for that. doing that. Thank Isn't you. Isn't that true, though? It's so true. So, so, so true. So, so true. Thank you for Thank everything you, beautiful. you do. So are you. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you. It's so fun. So fun. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, thank beautiful you. Marissa Darawanoker. Thank you so much. Everybody, make sure you check out A Muffin Top On Demand and let's talk about sex. You, you gotta say, no, you gotta, you gotta do it better. It, it, oh, it's all about, about sex. sex. <laughs> On TLC's Saturday night yes. at 11 o'clock. Yes. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Come back soon. I will, I will, definitely.